Hello everybody, welcome back to Sean's World. We are on day 18 of the advent. Just gone for me brisk walk, now it's time to go and open up AT. Ooh. I can't wait any longer, it's all I've been thinking about all morning on me walk. What's in box 18? Well let's find out. Ooh. Now I bet some of you have already guessed what was coming soon. And it is, and uh, it's the E. We now have, come on Nutcracker out of the way. Noel, hmm, that's great. Getting quite a collection now. Now, I've been thinking on my walk, I might make some cheese boards or bread boards today. I'm gonna have a look round in the barn, see what wood I've got. And maybe knock one of them up. We're getting a little bit short on them. So let's go and find lovely piece of oak or beech to make a chopping board something to cut my baguette up on I made a few before so maybe it'll be something I'll uh, I'll make maybe sell who knows let's see how we go anyway I've got a good supply of oak so let's find a suitable piece okay not too big they're going to be benches and tables. Yeah, they're too big to cut up. Okay, let's just check if I can find a smaller piece somewhere. Now let's try in this barn. Ah, that might just do it. Nice and long, it hasn't got to be a wide one. I can cut around that point there. It's going to be rustic anyway, it's just sort of for a three quarter length baguette if you like so that is beach and that could well be a candidate so let's carry on looking see if there's any other things ah well this isn't wood but it's a trivet and I will be needing some of those it's extendable I think I'll give that a clean up maybe yeah I think I will actually and give that a bit of Graphite black polish. We'll see how that comes up. Okay, let's get cracking. So, every cowboy needs a horse, and here's my saw horse. Right, let's get on this and ride into town. One clamp, one jigsaw, and a spirit level for marking. And of course, a pencil. Now I think I'll use this as my straight edge for one side and come over as cross to this point as far as I can, mark it down and then fashion the handle out of this end. So let's look for something to make the shape for this end. I'll just trace around something round. So establish the centre point, take a measurement 12 centimetres so it gives us six centre Six centre, strike a line, that's your middle mark. So if you're wondering what this one is, this is um, one I made earlier. So I'm gonna use the handle, I'm gonna set it on here, line it up with the centre mark. Mark a shoulder there, ready to cut, and just trace around. Across there, across there, across there, and across there. So now that gives me my angle to cut round. I'll drill a little hole in there, and then I'll mark there and there. Cut that straight through. I'll do that now. I know that's 12. Mark there, and a mark there. It hasn't got to be exact, it's only a, a cutting bolt. I'll round the edges off there, do that freehand, it's not a problem, the same there. And then we've got a medium sized cutting ball for the baguette. That's it, nice and sturdy. Here we go. Now 
Now, if it was any bigger than this, I'd run it up on my table saw or run a skill saw for it, but because it's so small, we're cutting along the grain, the jigsaw is just fine. Fine, just round the edges off, cut the handle, good to go. Now I'm just using a bottle lid just to round the edges off. Same process this end. Put a hole there. So I've just got to cut the handle out now, just this shape here, drill a hole and then do the other end. So that just leaves the other end of the board to round off on the edges. I'll do that, drill the hole, and then a bit of sanding. Hmm. Don't want to get me new camera dusty now, do I? Now to find the sander. Pop a hole through here. For a slightly bigger hole, just to give it a bit of character. Turn it over, do the other side. Right, just take this sharp edge off all the way around. Might use me little box plane or a standing knife just to make it a bit more rustic and not so so harsh. Get it sanded up and that's job done, ready for the oil. So what I'm doing around the edges now with the Stanley knife is just gently taking some material off around the edge just so that you can see it's handmade. I don't want it looking pristine 100% perfect, I want it to look like it's handmade, that's where the skill and craft is, so, you know, don't be scared to put your own touch to it. I'm just going to take the edges off, that's what it's all about. Just finish that off by hand with a sander, we maybe put a ribbon through there for hanging up, and then we'll get some special oil on there. Now the clear oil that I'm using is a white mineral oil. It's low odor, it's food grade safe. I actually got this product from Ikea. Lots of other um, products available online. Um, basically, you wipe it over, leave it 24 hours and then give it another wipe over. And what the oil does, it protects the wood, it stops it drying out. Um, protects it from stains and marks also um, limits the amount of moisture that the wood soaks up therefore it doesn't split so so easily so uh, I'm going to give it a coat of this and we'll see how it looks afterwards
it just brings out the natural beauty of the wood nice generous amount there's its bare wood all the way around colors coming through Jasmine you've got a breadboard coming your way <laughs> Got to look after Jasmine. She does all my editing. She cuts out all the bad bits. <laughs> and there's quite a few. Right, just the handle now. A nice satisfying job. So the first coat on bare wood will soak right in. Then the next coat you'll probably have to wipe off a bit more excess. Satisfying to make something out of an off cut you know it was going to be burnt or it come from the place where i get me um me wood from which is also the off cuts of a production that they they use so you really do get the most out of it all how about that to put your baguette on or even your cheeses your meats nice so i'm going to get packed away and i'll see you all on day 19 of the advent Bye for now.